So I just want to show you a few new things and how to clean this up. So if we have this design which we had in the last video, let's zoom out. See that I'm zooming out, I'm pressing Alt. Now as we said last time, we can use this Alt and these arrow keys. Watch as I do it again to make this bigger, make it smaller. But in terms of explaining that, your job was to make this a nice drawing. So let's think about how we can make this look nice. So I want that kerning the alt and these buttons to look like the buttons in Illustrator. So what I'm going to do is, sorry, to look like the buttons on your keyboard. So even the square here is not quite right. So I'm going to get that square board. I'm going to come over here and notice the shape here. I'm going to go a rounded rectangular tool because that's more what it's actually like. It's like that. It's not quite that rounded though, is it? So I might change the roundedness. See that I'm just going to pull that in, make it look like a keyboard. There we go. That's much better. That's almost what it looks like. They're a bit squarer. Most of these are almost square, so I'm going to pull that in until it's square. There we go. So I want to use those words Alt. Now I'm going to take that again as well. So again, on your computer. Now it's a this that's a serif font, and I want a sans serif font. Not really. Let's get another one. Let's go for something that's really similar. Arial is your standard font. Let's just go to Arial, but not narrow. Arial, yeah, that's pretty close. That'll do. Now, if you look on your keyboard, you'll see that that's what it looks like. Let's make it exactly the same, though. So what I'm going to do, because I always like to convert the text. It's, I think it's much easier to move with when we get it up here. So I'm going to go into Type. I'm going to go Create Outlines. There, look at that. Much easier to move with. And it's up in the top left corner is how it fits on your keyboard, I'm going to get it looking exactly the same as it does on someone's keyboard. There it is there. Now on your keyboard, you'll notice that it's white. So let's go and change that to white. Now down here in the colors, we have this. And I've got my swatches over here. By the way, my window here is set for workspace typography. See that down here? And it's got my main tools that I need. We've got my fonts over here. I've got my color swatches here. I don't use this panel too much. And over here we've got the colors. So I want this here to become white. So all I do, simply come over here and click white. It's now white. Now it's going to show as not white, but it's still there. Again, if we go up to view and we go outline, we can. Now let's have a look again. So we know it's there. I've got this one here, this box. I'm going to click on that. Now the opposite, I want it black. Now we see down here, this has got a black outline, but I want a black fill. This is called the fill and this is called the outline. So I'm just going to switch them around. See that? And bang, there we go. It looks exactly like on the keyboard. So now what I'm going to do is group them together. So notice what I do there. I've got this alt here and I've got the box. I hold down shift and click. And now I've got them together and now I want to group them. Object group. See this? Or I use control and G. In fact, you'll see me doing it faster. I'm using control and G again. So that's that there. So there's our key. So we need alt plus this arrow. So I'm going to do the same thing with this arrow, exactly the same. So I'm going to move the arrow over here. I'm going to take this box. I'm going to copy it. There we go. Now this time I don't want the alt, do I? I want the arrow in there. So I'm going to ungroup. So object, ungroup. See that? Shift, control, G. Shift, control, G. Click that. Ungroup. Don't want the alt. Click on it. Delete it. I need this arrow in here. Again, this arrow should be white. So see over here in my box, it's showing as question marks because I've got two different groups down here for this arrow. So I'm going to ungroup that arrow. Remember, object, ungroup, shift, control, G, shift, control, G, get them again, and I'm going to come and select it. See that one here is now selected this black outline. I want that white. So I'm come up here, just click on my white. It's now white. See the change? I want my arrow on my keyboard. We see that that arrow is actually a bit more like that doesn't look quite right. So I'm going to change it and make it look exactly the same. I want that white. So I'm going to make that white. Now again, seems like it's not there. I know it's there. There they are. Control G. Let's bring them together and we're going to bring it up here. Uh oh, it's at the back. Now what's happened is I've, I've got this box in front of it. So I'm going to go up here. Oh, object, arrange, send to back. Remember that? Shift, control and the bracket to send it to the back. Bang, there it is right in the middle. Now in my is much smaller and I'm going to move it over here to the side. Now when I look at my keyboard it's this button is actually much thinner. 
than the other one. So I'm going to move it and make it like that. Now I want this exactly in the middle of the square. So I'm going to select both of them like that. And I'm going to come and use my align tool and align. And I want that vertical align. See that? They are now perfectly aligned here. And that's good. Now at the moment I've got it aligned to the artboard. So it's moving it right into the center. But if I just want to align it to the selection, I might check, click that one. Just make sure they're aligned. I'll do it again to check. I want that one there. I'm going to group it again. Control group. And now I do exactly the same thing. So I'm going to group it. So you're doing lots of grouping when you're using Illustrator. Now I've got them. Bring them down here. So for this other one, we want this arrow is going to move, isn't it? So I'm going to ungroup the arrow, grab this arrow here, pull it around. There we go. And I put this right in the center. So watch what happens when we center this one. So I select both objects, hold down shift. Remember I come up here to my align tool. Align tool is very key. We go align horizontal center. See it happening that way. And we also want it that way. And now they're both. So I'm just going to control group it. It's now grouped. So that's it. Now I've got my two objects here. Let's zoom out again. So one of them is relating to, oh no that's not right. Let's check that other one again. Something's happened there hasn't it? Let's click that one and that one. Remember what we did? Go up to align. We want to align there and there. Now control group, set. Now it's good. No, it's not grouping is it? So you want to check to make sure that's grouping. So this is the keyboard shortcuts. Now these two original square boxes I'm going to get rid of them. Delete. This is what I have here. Kerning, Alt and the arrow and letting for the other way around. So what I'm going to do, there's two ways I could do this to get this text. I could just copy the text, I could do this, couldn't I, I could do that and then I could delete that bottom text out of that one and delete the text out of this one and then move them around. But as I said, once I've got things nice and clear, I like to be using, now as I said before, I like to use um, create outlines, there's that one, control group when you've created outlines, remember that. Same over here, I'm going to go type, create outlines. I like that this, it makes it like it's uh, artwork now. Now remember that your, your spacing is much easier, you don't need to worry about letting and kerning now because you can just move things around, see I'm moving it around. So I want these two to align right and then I can have my buttons the other way around. Franklin Gothic, just quickly put the plus in because I need the plus. Let's make sure that's Franklin Gothic. Always keep your fonts the same. So, or I might just look down here as well. Remember I could look here for my fonts too. I think up here is usually easier. So I'm going to come from here and I'm looking for Franklin Gothic. There it is. Franklin Gothic medium is what I had. And that's it there. That's what I want. So again, I like them as objects. Much easier to draw on one. I want that there. Now I need these buttons here, I'm going to put this Alt in here. So that's Alt plus the arrows. Now I also have the other arrow going the other way. So I'm just going to bring that there and I can reflect. So if I come over here and see this one here, I'm going to go to the Reflect tool and just reflect this around the other way. Bang, there we go. See what happened there? Just switch that around so I've got the two options. So that's obviously making it, this one's making it narrower, the kerning, the space between narrow, and that's making it wider. So I'm going to do the same thing here. I need two of these. And I'm going to use my reflect tool again here, but see, this time this way. Bang. Done. See that? Great, isn't it? Move that over there. There's my two choices there and there. Now a good thing with designing, and it's something to think about, is... We want to try to not repeat things. So as we see here, I've got this kerning equals equals. Do I need that? I've got the plus and the plus here. Do I need two of them? Not really. If we can do this visually by doing something else, can't we? I'm going to make this plus bigger because that's really important. I'm going to put the plus in the middle. Um, I'm going to get rid of these equals and that one as well. So I'm going to ungroup. See how it's just selected that there? I want to delete that and delete that as well. I don't think we really need that equals. But we do have, so now I need to go and group them again though. Control group and the letting as well. Control group. I do visually want to show a difference. So I'm going to just make one big alt. I've changed my mind. One big alt. We'll make that much bigger. 
because this is the key tool, isn't it? They need to have Alt, and then they need plus these tools, don't they? They want it's either those two for letting and those two for kerning. So let's put that there, and let's put kerning here, and then letting beside it. I want them quite different. And then right between the middle, I'm going to draw another box. I'm going to get a box rectangular tool. And I'm going to line that up between them. So I'll make it, make it the same size as that plus. See the plus there? Go all the way across. Because I've got a monochromatic design here, I'm going to keep it monochromatic. But I might just go grey. See, I've just made that grey. I'm going to bring. I'm going to make it a bit transparent. We'll pull that down like that because transparency can always look pretty cool. So there we've got that there. So there's my basic tools. I want that plus at the front, not the back. So I'm going to go bring to the front. In fact, I want this plus even stronger. So I'm going to put a outline around it. Again, I've got my monochromatic design. I want that a bit thicker. Two point. There we go. Let's line this all up. So I'm going to use my alt as my base thing. So I'm going to align that all vertically see that there nice clear clean line isn't it but on the other hand I want my kerning to it to align with the top of this box then I'm going to come to align now where's my align gone see sometimes things will disappear so I'm going to come up here and go to my align box window align here it is so here's my box appearing and I want that one top and top see how the kerning moved right to the top now I'm going to do exactly the same thing with the letting but the letting this time down the bottom so click the be aligning not the G but the main text here so I'm going to come up and get that exactly right just by I I'm going to put in my show rulers notice what I did then I'm going to bring a line down into here to line that up see that blue line coming in Then I'm going to come up here and do this myself by I sometimes you need to do this So I'm going to bring that letting that word down see why I did this I want that G I'm not interested in the G, the bottom there is the right. Now I also, a good thing to do with design tool, we want these things exactly the same. See that there? I might pull that in a wee bit there. We want that to line up exactly with the edge of the L. Same with the kerning. I'm going to pull my kerning. I've got to make a decision. Do I want it lined up this way or the other way or do I want both? I think it might look better here. So I'm going to line them all up there. I can do it like this too. To be exactly right, go left, align left. So I'm using this align box all the time when I'm designing. Makes things nice and clean. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'm going to move them up so that's aligned there. And then let's get these objects to group. And I'm going to align top there. See them just move up exactly right. And then these two here, control group. Select on this main object and align on the bottom. Bang, there it is. So, group everything. So I want those guides to be gone. View, guides, hide guides. There it is. There's my look there. Now again, just as I come into finish, a little design thing I've noticed over here is it's a bit confusing with these lines here and here and here. So what I will do is I'm going to change things a wee bit here. Let's clean this up even more. Move that crossover to there. There we go. It's a nice clean look there. Let's get it exactly lined up there. Still not quite right. Move it this way a wee bit. We're going to do things by eye sometimes in design. See that there? Now we're nice and clean in here. And clean here we've got a division between kerning and letting. And that's good. I think that's good enough. I just make that again bigger so it matches exactly with this grey line here. See what I'm doing? There we go. That's it. That's better. That's even cleaner. Let's come out and have a look now. Yep. Nice clean.